hi again so in this video i'm going to show you the vn power rail or 19 volt power rail in laptop motherboard so we're gonna discuss all about 19 volt power rail so here basically we have the power sequence for this kind of pc this schematic basically is for hp 8710 laptop okay so as you can see here we have the ac adapter always the first tank is the ac adapter here we have the v in okay the the voltage input so this is basically 19 volts it will pass through a switch as you can see a switch here is basically a mosfet okay so this switch will wait for a control signal as you can see here we have the adapter enable okay this is a control signal okay when this control signal is received the switch will lead 90 volt to pass directly to bq integrated circuit as you can see its reference is bq24703 this is basically the control ic that controls the adapter and the battery okay here as you can see we have the battery selector and over here we have the battery seals okay so after the v in will pass through the switch we will get here as you can see the b plus okay we will get b plus b plus means the main voltage 19 volt so this b plus will be applied to all circuits in the motherboard as you can see it will be applied here as you can see to this circuit here we have the b plus this circuit basically is for cpu core okay this is the control ic that is responsible to generate cpu core for the processor basically the cpu core voltage is usually around 0.8 volts to 1.2 volts for the processor okay in accordance with the type of the processor okay so here we have b plus as you can see the b plus also is applied to this circuit as you can see we have here the mass 8724 ic this ic basically is responsible to generate two voltages 3 volt and 5 volt okay 3 volt always and 5 volt always you will find these two voltages in the motherboard whenever the motherboard is not on okay so these two voltages should be present in the motherboard without pressing the power button okay so the b plus also as you can see is applied here to another ic as you can see the max or maximum 8743 so basically this ic is the control ic to generate two voltages 1.5 volt and 1.25 volts so always this ic cannot generate these voltages without enable signals without control signals as you can see here we have the slip s3 okay so then as you can see the b plus will go directly to another circuit here basically this is the ram circuit why because we get here two voltages 1.8 volt and 0.9 volt this is basically the ram in this laptop is ddr2 okay ddr2 because the voltage for ddr2 is 1.8 volt and for ddr1 2.5 volt for ddr3 1.5 volt for ddr4 1.2 volt and for ddr5 1.1 volt okay so because here we have 1.8 volt the ram here is ddr2 and here we have the half of this power 0.9 volt basically this power is for terminals because as i told you before in the previous videos the ram should receive two kind of voltage one main voltage and another secondary voltage for terminals vtt okay so this is here all about the power rail let's pass to the next slide 
So here, as you can see, this is basically the power adapter. The power adapter. So this is the, basically the power jack, okay? This is the power jack where we insert the power adapter. So we have many pins here. So here we have a signal, adapter signal, and here we have power, okay? 19 volt. We have here 19 volt, and also we have here 19 volt. And this, this is just for LED, and all those are for ground, okay? So when you find this point, this pink point, means here we have connection, means all these parts or pins are connected together. So we have the power jack here, so the 19 volt will pass directly directly to through this capacitors this capacitor basically are used here to remove the noise and then by this induction we have pl1 this is inductor or coil so basically the, the inductors here in laptops use it to increase the current of the voltage okay and then we will get here vn so let's go to the second page here as you can see we have the vn so the vn will pass directly to two two switches or two mosfets okay so we called this component mosfets or switches next to the vn to the power jack so here we have first mosfet we have pq4 and here we have pq5 okay so here we have the source so always three pins are for source and four pins are for drain so the drain of two mosfets are connected together and here we have the gates as you can see here we have the gate. Always the pin number 4 is for the gate. So 19 volt will pass through the switches after receiving the control signal in its gate. And then, as you can see here, and then we'll pass through the switch and then we will get here BAT or the main voltage 19 volt. So this is basically the BQ. So let's zoom a little bit again. So here, this is basically the BQ24 700 tray. This is PU2. You will find in the motherboard the reference PU2 means the charge IC or the control IC that controls the adapter and the battery. Okay, so this is the control IC, and over here we have the battery. Okay, here we have the battery. Okay, so when the adapter is removed, the battery will take the charge and will power the motherboard. Okay, so let's see a little bit the acronyms or the meaning of some signals here in the charge IC. So here we have ACN and ACP. This is basically for current, as you can see. Here this is current sense resistor. Okay. So we have here AC detects. Means in this pin, this IC detects whether the adapter is connected or not we have ac detect so the charge ic detect whether the adapter is connected or not when the signal is absent the charge ic won't control the battery in order to power the motherboard okay here we have enable signals as you can see we have here alarm signals where there is a problem with the temperature or something like that and so on here we have the comp the compensation when you find this mark here means these two are not connected as you can see no connection in c okay here we have ec drive this is the control signal we have the vcc the power management okay we have the battery drive as you can see here and so on